What's up guys? 79 Twitch. I know it has been a just about a year. Today's Monday, November 28th. <clears throat> it's been about a year since my last video. Um so you guys know my account is still active. I do get on it on occasion uh to watch videos or whatever. Uh but I had a lot of shit going on. Uh I moved again. Uh work five six days a week uh 10 hour days 12 hour days <clears throat> so i've been really busy i got uh some ideas for some videos coming up i got a few more things uh, a few more guns that uh that i want to uh put on here uh i've been super busy with a uh, uh a jeep project the past year I've been most of my money's been going to rebuild a motor and looks like I'm gonna need a new transmission and that so <clears throat> a lot of my money's been been going to that uh, but I was actually able to to siphon out of my savings and uh, start getting back into adding to uh, the collection uh, and uh, other various things <clears throat> so like I said today's Monday this is the AR-15 I built. It's uh, got some changes. I want to go over that with you. I uh, took this thing out Saturday and uh, went to the range. And I was at like the 25-yard range. And I mean, I was just driving tax with this thing. And then I was with my dad and a, a couple buddies. And they wanted to go out to the 200 yard range and I've never shot over 100 yards before so I was real interested and I tried this thing out with this uh, UTG red dot I have <clears throat> we put man size silhouettes out at uh, 200 yards and I did two 10 shot groups uh, out so that's 20 rounds all together out of the 20 rounds I believe 16 uh, hit the man size silhouette so for never having to shoot that far before, uh, especially with this red dot, red slash green dot, I should say. I was using the green. I uh, had the the sun was right above the backdrop, so it was real hard to see the target. And I pretty much just covered up the target, and most of those were, uh, you know, I hope I hit it kind of thing. But uh, but the rifle did extremely well, so. Uh, I'll go over what it is if you guys have not seen this rifle before. First time subscribing to my channel or whatever. <clears throat> this is a rifle I built myself. It's a, uh, it's got a core 15 lower, CMMG trigger group. Uh, it's got a Delton upper receiver with a DPMS bulk carrier group. Uh, it's got a barrier defense. 16 inch, I believe it's a 1.9 twist, heavy barrel, uh, with some some kind of key mod rail, spikes tactical, fish pump muzzle brake, uh, Imbus, Magpul Imbus flip up, front and rear sights, angle grip, pistol grip, UTG mil spec, buffer tube assembly, six position, uh, it's got a Magpul MOE buttstock, uh, some kind of ambidextrous <coughs> uh, rear plate. What else? Uh, I don't remember the brand, but I just bought uh, the anti-rotational pins. It's going to be the new stuff. I uh, obviously got the bad lever on there. Uh, it's a Badger Ordnance Gunfighter Charging Handle, which is pretty sweet. And then yesterday I bought this uh, extended mag release. And really, you don't need the extended mag release. So with my hands, I got like little short fingers. And you can see where I am just out of reach for uh, the, the mag release. So I have to literally rotate my hand up to hit the the mag release but uh, with the extension I can keep my hand 
where it is, nice and comfortably. Be able to hit that, drop the mag. Uh, let's see. Real easy. So, uh, that was uh, that was a must for me. Uh, it's got a UTG red and green dot uh, sight. Really, uh, really, that's about it. Really like this rifle. <clears throat> uh, I just got done building a DPMS AR. Uh, it was all DPMS. And I don't have any pictures of it before, but I'll probably do a video of it as well. Uh, it's actually my dad's rifle, and I completely tore that thing apart and uh, put it back together. <clears throat> Pretty nice. And then I got a that SIG M400 that were in my later videos. Uh, I got some videos coming up on that where we're pretty much going to change that rifle. I don't know how much we're going to change. Uh, but we got some parts that we're going to throw on it. See how it turns out. But <clears throat> I do have some videos coming up. I do have two new handguns. I'm going to start getting into mil surplus handguns. Kind of mil surplus. Uh, but along the same era as the, uh, the AK. So. Uh, wait to see subscribe and then wait to see when those videos come out i don't know when it's going to be it's probably going to be a little bit uh, so bear with me and uh mine's going blank uh i'm trying to get a hold of some more ak's uh some various countries of origin and stuff so hopefully i can find a few that i'm wanting and i'll do a complete uh, AK collection video update as long as the mill surplus handguns uh, I don't want to give away what it is but uh, I'm gonna have two various uh, handgun collections coming up that, that I'm buying for so hopefully uh, actually here hopefully in a couple weeks I'll be able to pick up a couple more handguns um, and yeah, with that, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Sorry, it's been a year since my last video, but uh, I'll have some videos coming up here in the near future. So please subscribe, got any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.